Michelle, baby. So nice to see you. How clumsy of me. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whores in there. He's probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front. You take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. God, suck. Come on, back to the car. You drive. I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. end up with my car. He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. Making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. Closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Code three five, suspicious person and vehicle. Responding unit in You're gonna have to shake these corn bone redneck motherfuckers. There he is. Let's go. I need cover and fire on River Road. Uh, what happened? Cross the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up! You don't know who you're messing with, you baby fucking sons of bitches! Assholes! You're so impossibly fucked right now! Settle down back there, kiddo. Ride'll be over soon. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! help! Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew. Shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there. I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Ronnie, I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. 
It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. Seatbelt down, asshole. Oh, oh, please! I didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet, baby. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sal, he's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn... This city of the Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it. <laughs> Look, I, I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. You should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So, Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old! You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, 
Shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. But mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks, as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. Now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay's still alive. Fuck me. Can I get a new vehicle out in River Road? Aye. I'll get her out to you right away. Here's your car, boss. That's a big help.
Lincoln, guess how things are running here now that Greco's gone. Like a fucking clock, that's how. You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're gonna be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know. You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, I'ma just say it. What's gonna happen next? You need him? And you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No. I don't think so. But I believe very few people these days. And if Vito said this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. It will make it easier for us to conduct business. I got my hands on prime shipments out there. Go bust up some heads and bring it back here. I'll take it from there. I get a new vehicle out in River Road. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. To get the rest of us to walk out. In protest, she says. What are we supposed to do? Well, he's got a 
Here's your car, boss. That's a big help. Who are we shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be I. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> You know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with the 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying. We didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the Krauts and Nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't tell me you weren't at least a little... <laughs> I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you doing? You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in the newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I, I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who'd 
didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times did we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a 